Hi. In this uh, short video, I want to just give a glimpse of what's coming up in this potentially Wi-Fi 8. And the reason maybe I'm talking about it is initial study has started on what should go on in Wi-Fi 8. Uh, you might be wondering already, we are still very nascent on Wi-Fi 7. What is the big deal about Wi-Fi 8, etc.? And the reason is that uh, this is more to kind of tell us about what might be coming up in Wi-Fi 8. My name is uh, Srikanth and I am with NanoCell Networks. So though nothing is finalized, nothing has been clearly put down. Here are some initial goals that we see from presentations from various interested parties. What are some headline items for Wi-Fi 8? So as you know, throughput has always been one of the most important goals for Wi-Fi or 802.11 standards. And except for maybe 11AX, where we probably focused on some efficiency metrics, uh, HT, VHT, and now with Wi-Fi 7's uh, EHT, etc., are clearly very throughput focused, okay? So in that sense, we clearly have throughput coming back again as a very important part. As you can see, uh, uh, Wi-Fi 6 to Wi-Fi 7 uh, potential leap is planned and Wi-Fi 8 wants to be the consistent 10 gigabit per second Wi-Fi. So we are in the single digit gigabit Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi 8 wants to establish Wi-Fi as a 10G solution. But it's not all about throughput. Uh, I think in Wi-Fi 7, we have started talking about deterministic operations and latency. Um, maybe the timeline was such that we might not be able to do all the things that people might have wished with respect to latency. But I think Wi-Fi 8 puts the ground down probably very clearly that latency and especially some deterministic latency numbers suitable for uh, applications like the extended reality that we see uh, in many statements, etc., will really become, I think, uh, marquee. So expect to see some movement towards latency in Wi-Fi 7, but I think in Wi-Fi 8, I think we will see a very strong statement about uh, how latency can be a little bit more deterministic and that will really help in XR. Of course, operation in 2.4, 5, and 6 would have been much more stabler, and we might see 60 gigahertz coming in, depending on how things work out from the cost perspective. What about a rough timeline? So as you can see, we have still not yet completed Wi-Fi 7, but we are looking at Wi-Fi 8. Fair enough. As I said, even the first official uh, IEEE project approval has not happened. So these are very early days. But you can see that they are planning ahead somewhere for a 2028 completion. Uh, products usually come much before that. Uh, as you know, Wi-Fi 7 announcements have started happening well before these uh, standard completion dates. People expect products uh, in 2023. So there is going to be you know, something which might happen in some of these time frames mentioned, okay? So we can expect to see, depending on the success of Wi-Fi 7, something happening on the Wi-Fi 8 front. Now, what is the driver in a certain sense for Wi-Fi 8 to complete things by a certain date? Hmm? This is where the cellular angle comes in. As you all might have known, uh, today 5G and Wi-Fi have some kind of a tussle, even though I personally wouldn't like to call it competition. At least there is some, you can say, semi-competition in some domains, etc. And uh, cellular has this release cycle and we expect a release 20, uh, somewhere in the 2030 frame, which might coincide with some of the 6G sort of uh, technologies coming up. And Wi-Fi 8 wants to be up there uh, to meet some of the numbers, at least for those indoor hotspot kind of environments, which is the sweet spot for Wi-Fi, 
and they want to be there before 5G or the 6G world gets there with the technologies. Okay, so in a certain sense, some of the timelines that we are seeing with respect to uh, Wi-Fi 8, etc., which is very much in its nascency right now, is going to be driven by the 5G and 6G kind of stories. Okay, so. I hope that gave us a peek into what might be coming up. And for more information, uh, please take a look at our website. We also offer courses through Wi-Fi Now Academy. Thank you.